Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 29 Parts B and C In Part B, we are going to graph the function g of x equals one-third to the x power. We will do this by setting up a table of coordinates for this function. We often use x values to input like the following negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. When x is negative 2, we replace the x variable with the value negative 2. This gives us 1 third raised to the negative 2 power. Since a negative exponent means reciprocal, we have 3 divided by 1 to the positive 2 power, or 3 squared, which is 9. So the point that we should plot is negative 2 comma 9. From the origin, we count 2 to the left and up 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. When x is negative 1, we replace this x variable with the value negative 1. We have 1 third to the negative 1 power. Again, the negative exponent means reciprocal, so we have 3 divided by 1 to the positive 1 power. 3 to the first power, which is 3 we should plot the point negative 1 comma 3. So from the origin to the left one up 1, 2, 3. When x is 0, we replace the variable x with the value 0. We have 1 third to the 0 power. And any number to the 0 power, except for 0 raised to the 0, but any other number to the 0 power is 1. So we plot the point 0 comma 1. When x equals 1, we have 1 third raised to the 1 power, which equals 1 third. So we plot the point 1 comma 1 third. So from the origin to the right 1 unit and up just 1 third of a unit. And when x is 2, we have 1 third to the second power, 1 third squared. 1 third times 1 third is 1 ninth. We plot the point 2 comma 1 ninth. Now we can draw the graph of this function. And here we have the graph of g of x equals one-third to the x power. Let's go to part c. Here in part c, we will use the same x values that we did for part b. When x equals negative two, the y value is two raised to the negative two minus three. This is 1 divided by 2 squared minus 3, or 1 fourth minus 3, which is equal to negative 2 and 3 fourths. From the origin, we move to the left 2 and down 1, 2, and 3 fourths. When x equals negative 1, y is 2 raised to the negative 1 minus 3. That's 1 divided by 2 to the first minus 3. 1 half minus 3 is negative 2 and a half. From the origin, left 1 and down 2 and a half. When x equals 0, the y value is 2 raised to the 0 minus 3. 2 to the 0 is 1, and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So we plot 0, negative 2. When x equals 1, we have 2 raised to the 1 minus 3. 2 minus 3 equals negative 1. We plot the point 1 comma negative 1. When x equals 2, y is 2 raised to the 2 power minus 3. 4 minus 3 equals 1. We plot 2 comma 1. I don't have room to show it here, but if you plugged in x equals 3, 2 to the third power is 8, minus 3 is 5, we would plot 3 comma 5. Here we have the graph of h of x equals 2 to the x power minus 3. 